guys, we are so near to the Saginaw Bay. You can see they got all the long grassy stuff. Um, I love those long grasses. I think they're beautiful. I'd have those all around the house instead of shrubs. There's Mobile Home Park. Campground's behind me about a mile. And I am now on my way to Casey's BFF and Matron of Honor. Sarah's house and um, I just love those long grasses okay this is what I'm wearing there's this my dress I don't know you'll see it in the pictures I guess and I'm wearing this hat um, Lyra in her white dress is running down a hill and she was just sitting up in the grass they can't stop for one minute. Oh. Oh, okay. The memory picture's on that table over there. Pete said. Okay, so. <laughs> Case is bad. Together. We will share in the joys of the wedding, both of the outward celebration of the occasion and with internal appreciation for the love that surrounds us. Casey and William, you two have the opportunity to build an amazing life together. You are blessed to share this experience with the loved ones gathered here to support you as you embark on the journey together. When I was a kid, I was never one of those girls who dreamed about her wedding day. I didn't plan a big, amazing event. My dream was to be married with kids, but I never saw that doing it. <laughs> the day itself was a big deal. But now, knowing you, I've been more excited than I ever have been in the past. Not about the day in particular, but about becoming your wife. Today I vow to you that I will be just as excited about being your wife for the rest of my life. I will be your partner and your support through everything life throws at us. I will back you and fight for you every step of the way, even when you're ready to give up on yourself. I vow that our children and you will be prioritized above all else, and I know that as a family, we can make it through anything life has in store for us. You and I could not be any more different without being incompatible, but I think that's why we fit so well. You make me feel safe and secure and loved. You make me laugh every single day, and I always look forward to coming home to you and telling you what happened that day. And this, what we have, is what I want for the rest of my life. Till death do us part, and in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, just you, me, and our family. That's all I need, and I can't wait to share it with you from here on as husband and wife. Okay. I know that I can't always be the best man that I want to be. There are times I'll forget to listen. There are times we won't agree. There are times I'll be pig-headed and stubborn. But one thing I know is I'll love the three of you always. I'll always strive to be the best for you. Without you, I'm nothing, but with you by my side, I'm wholesome. I could never ask for anything better than you guys, and I deserve far less. You're the greatest gift I could ever ask for. I vow to protect you from any harm and stand by you through your troubles. Here stands my lover, my friend, and my friend soul's forever true companion. I give you the best of me forever until you kill me or I die. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, do you take William to live together in union of marriage to take him as your best friend and partner in life? To honor, cherish, and love him from this day forward, 
for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for all the days of your life? I do. William, you take Casey to live together in union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love her. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for all your days. Where would the rings be? Ring bearer, please. <laughs> By God, in the state of Michigan, I am pleased to announce Casey and William as wife and husband, sealed today, both in law and in love. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. William Hamill. Towards the farm. Right. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi guys, pardon my head here. Uh, everybody's, it's, I forgot to look at time it is. Probably 8.30. They're pretty much done, mostly done cleaning up and packing up and everything. Casey and Bill are going to be on their way to the, to Mackinac for their two day honeymoon. And uh, of course the kids will be here. They're a mess, they need a bath, but I don't have a bathtub, so... But tomorrow morning, I'm going to pack up the kids and head down to, or over, wherever, to cover the cases. Should we get back here? Oh, my. <laughs> Can opener, scissors, stuff the kids were playing with outside. Evidently, they came and got them while we were out there. Le Le My dog. What's your name again? Spent a lot of time over at the venue, at the party. He didn't want to be here when everybody was over there, but it's okay because he got lots of attention, cupcakes and whatever. So, Chewy, did you have cupcakes? He had cupcakes. Yeah, I had cupcakes, Mom. They didn't have a wedding cake. They had cupcakes. It was really nice. I did not take pictures. I took a little video. I didn't take much at all. I just didn't. I was talking to people. My uh, Casey's dad's family, who I haven't seen in years. Um, I got to spend some time with them and catch up with them. And... Um, it was great. Five of her six cousins from her Uncle Bill and Aunt Denise uh, were here with their families, their kids. And, oh, so great to see them all. I mean, when I met, when I met her dad before we got married, the kids weren't even in school yet, the two youngest of the six. And I think Bobby was in kindergarten and the twins, Julie and Jenny, were not even in school yet. And... All were, all of them were there, but the oldest, and I got to see Denise, my sister-in-law. Of course, my sis, former sister-in-law Janie was here also. And my former sister-in-law Denise. Um, we saw Dale and Janie a lot, but we spent most of our time with Bill and Denise. Bill has since passed away from cancer from Vietnam. Pete did an amazing job marrying them. He did. An amazing job. This was his first wedding. And uh, he did a fantastic job with it. Just great. He just impresses me so much. And David came up. And Isabel. His granddaughter that's best buddies with Leland. Or came down actually. Took about an hour and a half to get down here. We really like this park. We have been talking about possibly getting it for the season next summer. They have great internet. But it will depend on whether, you know, they want Pete to come to West Branch or what. But West Branch is fine too, but this is a great park. So I haven't shown you the park. I haven't shown you anything really that I wanted to, but there was just so much going on. And I can only I can only manage a couple things at one time, which is better than you know the first few years. But just I couldn't I just couldn't do it. Of course, Gwen was here and her girls, Sophia and Olivia, and Olivia's boyfriend. So that was cool. We spent a lot of time with them and David. And most we sat together, you know, Pete and I and Gwen and I'll say the kids. And um, David, and of course, his bow's off. They also call her Susie, but she was off playing with Leland. Yeah, come on in. Here I come in, baby. There's Casey. Hi. Coming come in on, to honey. say goodbye. There's Mrs. Hamill. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, so I'll, I'll close this in a little bit. Bye. Okay. So today was a pretty special day, right, Lila? Right. It was my mom's wedding. And what did you think? It was awesome. Was it? Yeah. And what did you, uh, what was your favorite part? S'mores? You know what I think was the coolest part? What? Well, come on. Of course. Of course. They're all Sit on Lila's lap. Or Lila's lap. <laughs> you know how I am. And the one okay. Don't block Le Leland. I want it, you got to see both of you. There you go. There. Okay, Le Lyra. So now, where's Mommy and Bill going, Lyra? Work. Work. They're going on a honeymoon. That's what you do after you get married. Yeah. Yeah. And where are we going to go together tomorrow? Lyra? Lyra Scott. <laughs> Nina, where are we all going tomorrow? Hey. To your house. My house. All three what? of us. What? No. And then Monday, you're going to go to school. What time do you get on the bus? Um, I go on the bus. Right? No, I, I don't go on the bus. Baby. I go to R S G. I know, but what time do you get on the bus to go there? I, I go on the bus. You're going to be taking the bus to school. Okay, I want to finish yeah. my... Ow! Ow, you want your elbow! I think you just broke three ribs. <laughs> that means you make three men. Okay, we got to finish the vlog, okay? Yeah, stop blocking. Stop blocking. What do you want to show me, then? Show it. Okay, show the other side. My mom just married Bill. Yep. Here. Here. You took to drinking. Here, here. My sister's going to get this out of my vehicle. Who said that? Oh, good, good plan. Good here. What? Yeah, my dream. I don't want it. I gotta show mine. Right? Okay, show um, yours. Other side. There you go. You each okay, got go. one. Oh, except hers is pink and mine is blue. Right. Wanna well, see black one? It's black on the inside, isn't it? Uh oh. Don't worry, you already showed it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this because this is going on and on. You're just being silly. And I gotta get this done. No. So, guys, whatever I was saying, I don't remember what it was before they came in, but I think I'm just gonna end this now. Wanna well, see that one? <sighs> I think I'm just gonna end this now. And, um, you know, I hope you all uh, are yeah. having a great weekend. And then. I see my cat. And so I'm going to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to pray for your pastors. Don't forget to pray for all. It's not only the United States that's getting hit hard with weather and earthquakes and fires. And it's not only us. It's happening all over the world. So, um, yeah, please pray for me. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. God bless and good night. Night, me night.